I became aware of Wales and what's been going on with prayers for revival through my twin sister. And through her, I heard of Alec Dunn and the Interceders and Dick and Gladys Farrell. And I pulled up the information and read it, and it was very, very interesting to me. Well, one Tuesday morning, in early in April, I was at uh, Sukkot Halal, founded by Rick and Patty Ridings, where we intercede for uh, the Isaiah 19 Highway. And it was so filled with people that a couple came and sat beside me. I never s had seen them before. And I just turned to the woman and said, where are you from? And she said, the UK. And instantly, I had a vision of Wales, or of the United Kingdom. I'm looking down at the United Kingdom, and I see fire beginning to spring up in Wales. And the fire began to go up the coast, leaped over to Northern Ireland, continued on up to the tip of Scotland, all the way down the outside of Scotland, down to England, down to the very bottom, and back up to Wales, and the fire just burned. And then it went to the center and just became a roaring column of fire. And arms of fire began to go up out to Scandinavia, to Europe, across the ocean to the Americas, down to Africa. And I knew that it was the fires of revival that just as Wales was the starting point of the revival here with under Evan Roberts and so forth. This was going to be the last mighty outpouring that the United Kingdom was going to be shaken with the power of God. That Islam will not take this beloved little island. And that just as before, that people went out from the UK all over the world with the gospel, it would happen again, only more so. And also that God has brought so many people to the United Kingdom from the nations, and they already speak English. Just like the, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit started in Jerusalem and went west all around the world, it's up and down the Middle East now, and Muslims by the thousands are having dreams and visions of Jesus. It's going to happen throughout Israel as well, and the last mighty wrap-up revival in the world and the United Kingdom has a tremendous part to play, and it's going to start right here in Wales.